Some key aspects associated with the channel blade for the King Vision video laryngoscope. Uh, this has an 18 millimeter mouth opening requirement and because of the, the channel, no stylet is, is required. Uh, the channel does allow standard tracheal tubes from a six to eight millimeter. Uh, and uh, it's, it's important to note that uh, you are manipulating the, 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 where the tube goes with the blade itself as opposed to freehand with your, with your right hand. Now some folks uh, prefer to preload the tube into the channel with a tip right at the end here as opposed to the end of the blade before introducing it. Others, to avoid this getting into the field, uh, prefer to uh, advance the tube separately or the channel separately and then advance the tube into the channel and into position. Either way is acceptable. It's also important to note that within the channel you can twist the tube to gain a little bit of lateral uh, uh, control and uh, obviously if uh, to get additional anterior you can you can actually lift with the bl uh, blade itself. In introducing the channel blade into the mouth uh, as we've talked about previously it's good to uh, follow the base of the tongue and visualize the the epiglottis and uh, even put the tip in the vollecula much like a Macintosh blade. Uh, as you advance the tube you can see you can get a little fine control to advance the tube, center it so that it goes towards the vocal cords. Uh, and if uh, you want to uh, capture a long floppy epiglottis, uh, you know, again, uh, you can get a little fine control with uh, manipulating the tube uh, to center it going through the vocal cords. And, and actually, the closer you get to the vocal cords, uh, the more likely you are to uh, run into the right border or the right arytenoid. And if that's the case, then what you're going to have to do is retract the tube and you'll have to twist it even further to the left to advance it into the uh, laryngeal vestibule and then uh, rotate it back to the normal position to advance it into the trachea. For an extremely anterior larynx, uh, we've, we've actually seen uh, another technique that can be used that if you can't, whatever, for whatever reason, lifting, manipulating with the tube, you just can't get the, the tube to enter the uh, uh, laryngeal inlet. You just need a little bit more anterior deflection. Uh, you can actually use a bougie with the uh, coup de tip angled anteriorly uh, within the tube, positioning the tube right under the, the opening to the larynx, using that angulated tip to advance the bougie through the vocal cords into the trachea, then advancing the tube, again watching it to make sure it goes in the trachea, withdrawing the, the bougie and removing the blade in the normal manner.